Not right now. We haven't heard anything new in the last hour on the condition of these officers. The last we heard from the chief was that one officer is fighting for his life and the other was saved by body armor. The police union is telling me it's a miracle. They're still alive. At this point, we don't know the names or how long these officers have been with the department. We know that they're both being treated here at Banner University Medical Center. We do know that these officers are partners. Phoenix police say after the two officers were hit, one officer returned fire but did not hit the suspect who ran away. The manhunt ended after other officers found him and arrested him. Phoenix Law Enforcement Association President Daryl Kriplin says police officers go to work every day knowing the dangers of the job, but that doesn't make times like this any less heart-wrenching. He tells me the bullet got through one of the officer's ballistic vests and is still in his chest right now. I spoke to him this morning and I, I could not have been more complimentary of, of his actions and, and how he reacted to a life in that situation. I mean, I'm so thankful that um, where the bullet hit and stopped, it didn't hit any of his vital organs. So he's going to be fine. Uh, the other officer, I mean, we just need to keep him in our prayers and thoughts and, and, and just hope for the best. Prayers have been pouring in for both officers. Everyone just really hoping that that officer that's more seriously hurt does pull through. Phoenix police say this marks the 12th time that their officers have been shot at this year. Kayla, many of those suspects who shot at police like this latest suspect were also, I understand, prohibited possessors. Yeah, that's right. Police tell us that 10 of those 12 suspects also were not able to have access to a gun. So this is certainly a troubling trend. We'll be sure to keep our eye on. Back to you. Not legally allowed to anyhow. Mm -hmm. Michaela, thank you.